y'all doing today? Back with another feeding video. And we got the orange phase, Eastern hog nose. See, she took a, a bluff strike at first, but then we'll gently take the mouse as usual. Having no issues with her. Not sure why she went all the way down to the tail end of the mouse instead of the head, but she had no problems taking that down. Right now we got her mate, Onyx, Melanistic Eastern Hog Nose. Surprised he wasn't hissing today and he took the mouse head first like he should without any issues. Like how he just stares at me. Now we're gonna be fishing around for my lemon ghost, Walma. See if we can get him out the little hut. I didn't get it on camera, but he did grab the mouse. Gotta watch your fingers with him. He's like he's eating it upside down. Pretty big meal for him. But he has a really good appetite. Next up, we have my sable female, one of my favorite hognose snakes. I love her little personality. Always is willing for food. It's like she's hitting her growth spurt now. She's getting really long, so now I just have to put some weight on her. Now we have my anaconda, female hazel. Very good appetite. And she grabs it sideways as usual. It wouldn't be hazel if she didn't grab it sideways. Can't wait till she gets to breeding age 2023. All right, we're gonna go fishing for another hog nose and got one that popped out this is the arctic anaconda head mai tai female very very good appetite very aggressive eater and then we have the male arctic anaconda head mai tai he's a little more laid back and skittish compared to the female but didn't have any issues getting him to eat and he had just shed before I fed him. So nice looking skin. Definitely like the color of him. He has like a nice greenish tint to his background. All right, and now we got a rare sighting. We have my super arctic conda feeding out of my hand. She was really skittish trying to feed her in her enclosure. So I was like, let me see if I can pick her up and calm her down and see if she'll eat. And it actually worked. So that's a strategy I'm gonna start using. And then last, we have this girl right here. This is my normal 100% head leucistic. And she's actually in shed at this point while I'm trying to feed her. And She's bluff striking and hissing. Um, I thought she would still eat because she does have a really good appetite, but um, as you can see, she wants no part to me until she gets out of her new skin. And she did eat after she shed out. So after I got done trying to feed her, I gave her a little soak and then I helped her shed out, which you'll see right here. As you can see, the shed is coming right off. I definitely wanted to get this on camera. I wanted to get something like this on camera for my Super Arctic uh, when it shed out, but I had a camera malfunction. So I was like, I'm definitely gonna get this one on film. So as you can see, after I soaked her for maybe two minutes in some lukewarm water, this shed came right off. And that's about it. So if you like the channel and like the content, feel free to subscribe. Like the video, leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace out.